guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And this is a horror unboxing for your horror unboxing mouths. Fuck yeah, it is. Take it in your souls. Open your mouth wide and here we come. Believe it. The first box that we have comes from Loot Crate. And I've got an exploding offer for you, Dean. Mm -hmm. If you type in WAM15, that's WAM, W-W-A-M, 15 on yeah. Loot Crate site, you can get this box for 15% off, Dean. 15% off if you use our special code. And they have a specific Loot Crate horror box, which we're starting with today. How Let's see percent? what's inside. 15! Wow. Wham, 15! Wait a minute, 15%? Wait a minute, are we, have we all gone mad here? Are we giving it away? It's an what unnecessary roughness penalty in the NFL, Jay. 15% off using code Wham15, and please do it because we need that shit. Geico also offers 15% off. That's right. Remember Geico. We need that sponsored. Here we go. What's inside of a, of a Wham... Loot crate box. A lot of weird shit and probably used condoms and possibility of herpes. Absolutely. Now this one's from last month, so next month's will be clean. But here we go. First thing we got. Oh, it's a t-shirt. My ex-wife. <laughs> She's on here. We got a t-shirt here. Oh, it's loot. Yeah, by the way, loot fright. Loot fright. When you click that link below, it'll show you the kind of good stuff you'll get inside of it. Who is that? This is the fly, Jeff Goldblum's. Oh, wow. Hey, by the way, that's the same look that you give a girl that you've been with her long enough and you eat in front of her finally. Dude, this- Like you just eat disgusting and you fart and shit in the bed. This is, this looks like me eating some greasy food when I'm hungover the next day. Just like, give me that McDonald's McGriddle! <laughs> I wish we could have a, a, like a before and after. Like before it's like a really sweet Jeff Goldblum looking face and you're very delicately <laughs> eating a bagel. And then this is like six months into the relationship with Je uh, Jeff Goldblum. It's like, I don't give a fuck anymore. This is what it's like when things get dark inside. Yeah, badass opening to that. That's a t-shirt. Nice, like and it's got the loot fright on the back of it, by the way. Sweet t-shirt. Let me get to the I'll one put one. that in my Oh, loins. I like this. This is a, a loot fright Beetlejuice staircase. Ooh, snake bobblehead. I want to see what's inside a of it. Slippery snake. Rip it open. Flithery, slithery, oh, we're not gonna keep the, the box. <sighs> That's how you gotta open your loot fright box, too. Oh shit, dude, oh. this is fucking awesome. Oh, that's sick, Fuck, dude. dude. That's cool. I got that. Get me it, Barb. <laughs> look, look. This is okay. This is a this is a guy that really when he wants his vodka and you said no more, you need to recover. He's like, get me that. I'm making a double on the I rocks. Want to, nah. <laughs> that's cool as fuck. That's all, you put that on your desk at work, scare away the normal people. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm not wearing a mask. Hey, Chuck, we've come for your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. That's dude. genius, man. You can put some glue on that, put that shit on your dashboard of your car, or just put it on your desk at work. Like, stay away from me. I ain't got no TPS reports. Hey, that I can't even do TPS reports. You never trained me correctly. That's the head of everybody's penis when they're anxious to get in, in for the first time with a girl. <gasps> Please, God. Just a tip. Yeah, that's, what, that's, what, uh, that's what a dude's. Just a tip. That's what the dude's penis looks like. Just a tip. Let me have it. Come on, let me in. He's like, hey, <laughs> may, uh, may I please go into you, uh, ovary hole? It's Beetlejuice Mark Wahlberg. Let me in your fucking house. It's cool. That's badass. That's awesome. That's cool as shit. Oh, we got a, a nice pencil case. Also good for your office at work. Oh. Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Mm. Look at that. It's very nice. Very it's nice. smooth, sensual, and it zips. It zips. For your pleasure. Or hers. For her pleasure. Nice little Pennywise bag there. You can put your pot inside of that if you want to. By pot, I we mean got, soil. Uh, the Twilight Zone recipe box. Ooh, I like recipes. Let's see I'm what, on Pinterest. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Grip it and rip it. I, don't, I need some. Need, sure. Give me see it. I can do it. I can do it faster. You need to cut your nails. God. This motherfucker's got a zip code. Recipe books. It says on the back, to serve men. <laughs> it does. <laughs> to serve men. What's inside of that? I well, I can't read it. It's fucking Egyptian. That says, <laughs> I want to do you, Stephen. You're traveling to a place that's not just of mind, but of sound, of all sorts of bullshit. So recipe know. books. Oh, it's not, I don't think they give you pages. Oh, it's cards to put well, your fuck, recipes I, What on. if you don't know how to cook anything? It's for people who do know how to cook. Look, it's the Twilight Zone. You write your recipes on there. That's cool, though. It's genius. Yeah, if you're and, a recipe and then, maker, you know, it opens up like that. You can store your secrets inside. That is the nicest sexualist horror recipe box you'll ever find on the internet. Makers marks. Mm -hmm. Look at that shit. I and enjoy it. 
It's got these little cards that you put inside of it. I can make bagel. I can make cookies. My, my, I can make drinks. Mine would say uh, pop tarts, two minutes and twenty five <laughs> seconds for ultimate. You can save that shit forever. Uh, oven, uh, oven for pizza rolls, three twenty five preheat. Set it in there for a good twenty minutes for a good crispy outside shell. But wait, there's more. Is it twenty minutes? I don't know. This is a Frankenstein book lamp, mm. and it comes in a sweet and sexual box. It's got the, oh, that's fucking old. That is a, it's got the light. Did there. you break the fucking cord? No. Oh. It's literally a book lamp. It says Frankenstein on it, but it lights up. Those are all LED lights on the insides of that. That's nice. It's a book, but it's also a lamp, Steven. I think it's great. Fuck. That's cool, man. What's inside of there? Not gooey. Ooh, that looks like a whoopee cushion. Is it? No, I hope so. Do it's I, not worth shit. You want me to do it, Jim? Give it! I can't. I'm gonna open something else while you do that. Your head's strong enough, Steven. Shit, I oh. don't That shit's hard. I can't. I told you. All right, I'm gonna go in tonight. Now, well, dude. Just open it. This is fucking pretty goddamn sweet. What is this? This is not a boat accident, it wasn't any propeller, and it wasn't any coral reef, it wasn't Jack the Ripper, it was a fucking shark! That's it's steel! I know. It's a Jaws metal print. Dude, look. Oh, fuck, dude, that's going on the background. That's dope. Look at that. And it's got the bite out of it. Take a bite out of crime, McGruff the crime dog! That's what, that's, this is a sign they put up. Right after me and Mike go to a water park together. <laughs> this is after we leave. <laughs> There's a poop in the water. So, uh, no swimming. <laughs> we've uh, we've closed off the pool. Let's do it. It's metal, bro. Awesome. Awesome. Steel cut rivers of Niagara. Metal. <laughs> it's metal, dude. Metal, bro. It's so metal. What was this? This was a... It was a... It's like a little cushion. God, it's, it's I know what it is. It's a, it's a stress cushion. Look, look. Or a butt pillow. Or a butt pillow. How do you like it? How, how do you like it? I did it once, bitch. Just... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit your balls. I just want you to have one. I just want you to have one. Okay, how about this? You got, you got. I'm gonna karate chop you. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is either, but it's soft. Well, it says right in it. Uh, no, it doesn't say it. It's it a soft, what it is. like a chuchulu pillow. Maybe it's a travel pillow. Yeah, you can... You know, we're gonna look fucking stupid. Oh, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it's soft. Oh, it's Cthulhu. It's, yeah, Cthulhu. That's why I said I said Chuchu too. Cuckoo Chakush got screwed. <laughs> I like oh. it. I'm gonna go to bed, Steven. I know we're on a long car ride. Hey. But take me to my parents' when house. When school starts back, that'd be a perfect thing. Like, if you're on. If you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't wake up with that fucking thing. You're just like, <laughs> the yeah. teacher be like, "What's going on?" Be like nothing. Uh, I made this in art class. Yeah, school starting again. Just fucking, just be like, I'm learning. <laughs> Let me see how, fast, oh yeah, see how hard you can. How hard can I put my don't, face on? You're gonna smash your teeth in. Do it. Go hard. You'll say. <laughs> that was fake. Well, you go I tried. Hard. I tried. Go hard. You'll say. That's not. It's pretty good, dude. It, it breaks your fall. You'll say. Oh, show! <laughs> How come you train him or teach him and not me? <laughs> Do not question me. Right, try no, one time. No, I'm Just not. go one time as hard as Hell you can. Hell no. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. I, I guess I'm not then. Step off! By the way, somebody's gonna be like, you dumb shit. This is like a fucking like frozen thing or something. You're supposed to put it in the fridge. They like, give you mysteries too. We don't even know what the fuck this is yeah, for, but saw. it's got a cool design. That was worth the price of admission just alone. I like it. By itself. All right, so thank you, Loot Crate, for that. Again, in the link below, guys, check it out. Let's see what else we got in this box of horror, okay. Steven. Okay. I got a black package here, mm. and, uh, well, not the con you want it, but no, uh, I, I do got a black package. You get what you wish here. for sometimes. This is just a, there's no note, there's no nothing, it's just a. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. It's a shirt. Yeah. Oh, it smells like pickles. I, I thought, I, I swear, I thought it said, I, I don't drive 65. Oh, dude, it smells like what salt and vinegar it? chips. <laughs> it, went, it went right up in here and had an egg. It laid an egg it's in here. It's Dark Knights in oh. Texas. What's it say? I can't uh, that's what I do 
uh, drink Michelob Ultra and I know things. Know things. No, because that's the truth. It's the ultimate J shirt. Mean Gene Oakland. It's the ultimate J shirt. That's what I do. I drink Michelob Ultra and I know things. That's, that's true though. Fun. It's true. If you drink Michelob Ultra, you act like you know things. That's perfect. The superior. God, the fucking smell. I dude. know the superior light beer, as Jay always says. <coughs> that's for you. <coughs> Cause I don't drink that watery piss. Yeah, well, you don't know things. Then. Actually, I had four of them yesterday at beat ups. They were delicious, and I got to continue so my day normal. When you wear when you wear this and you drink your Michelob Ultra, you'd be like, yes. <laughs> you know, my the, fantasy football team's doing wonderful. Thank you, God. It is that. Thank you so much. That it just really smells yeah, bad. It's one of those pickle printing presses. Chewy. <laughs> Whoever sent that, thanks a lot. It's a genius. It's really show. nice. Thank you. It's glorious and wonderful. All right, what do we got here? We got something from the Office of Horror. Oh. Ooh. They are. Ooh. They know things about horror. Oh. They have a whole fucking office dedicated oh. to it. Oh me. I got a letter. Okay. Mhm. Mm Spread it on. Uh, you look. may read out loud. <clears throat> Thank you so much. We always appreciate that. Peeling off the stickers here. God, I got burpees. Hey, Mike and Jay. Oh. Just wanted to tell you guys that your content is awesome, and I really enjoy watching your Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis skit. Don't you like nothing else? Fuck yeah. Please don't stop because it brightens my day, bro. No, I'm kidding. I don't know why I'm acting like an asshole from the late 80s and fucking frat. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys like the horror fan arts I drew and the stickers I created. Sweet. P.S. There's an art print that came from one of my... You wrote it in goddamn cursive. Comics. Comics. Oh, okay, so he does comics. Comics. One of my comics. So you guys might be a little confused about what the picture means. I was really proud of how I drew Michael. Uh, you guys will know what I mean. Mean. Well, I know we had a sticker there. A sticker, when, I mean, yeah. when you see the fan art, PSS, I have an Insta account where I post comics and animations of slashers. I mm -hmm. hope you guys stop by and check out Michael's beautiful self since he's my favorite too and I tend to draw him more at Office of Horror. Ding, ding, ding. And, ding. The, and the stickers are lovely. All right. Really nice. What we got in here, Office of Horror? What are you slathering our sexual barbecue sauces with? He also made the stickers. You made these stickers? Oh my god, dude, these are cool as shit. Look at these stickers. Damn. They're like a, uh, um, they're like uh, anime horror stickers. It's like it, they're like the the K-pop version of horror. That's dope. <laughs> they're very sexy looking, and <laughs> I can I and can they sing songs. I can interact. My ten year old loves anime. Like she's totally into that shit. I'll show her these oh, and, cool. and and get her ideas of it real quick. We got this one here too. See, that's some good looking shit, man. Yeah, that looks professional as hell. These are really fucking nice. Good on you, dude. Seriously. Those look awesome. More talent in his fingernail than we have in our whole bodies. Yeah, or our wieners. Mm -hmm. That should scare uh, you. <clears throat> I'm not lying. Uh, in, in the anime version, I, she just looks like a stern teacher that really means well for you. <laughs> like, look. Like, I've got something to show you. Doesn't it look like a teacher that, like, in Dangerous Minds or something? You like, you know that kids. they're stern? But they want to help you. It's the Michelle Pfeiffer of the underworld. Yeah, I, I dig it. I'm like, uh, you better be for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this one's great. It says, oh, pie daddy. That's I don't badass. know what that means, but anime people are weird. They have all sorts of weird daddies. That's what Jason does on Friday the 12th and the 14th. Look at him go. <clears throat> Look at him go there. You know, Jason deserves a fucking mm -hmm. break. He does. He's, he's had a hard time. Uh, oh, this is sexual. I know. Damn, Myers is fucking buff he's and pretty damn big at the same time. Pretty damn big. He's got them fucking hands on, and Freddy, <clears throat> did, Freddy doesn't want to hear that shit. He's flashing his junk. Like, he doesn't no, care. No, 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 no. It's your dad reading the paper. No look. Reading the paper, holding uh, jingles. I'm in the mood to scam <laughs> simply because I can. <laughs> 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 Oh, this one's cool. So that's some 80s retro shit. I like right that there. shit. I like the devil one. Look at uh, Ghostface listening to his iPod, listening to some WAP by Cardi B. Pop that pussy. Pop, pop that pussy. I know that's not the, I've never listened to the actual song. Look at that. I don't even know. Look at the holographics on that. It looks cool, though. That's fancy. I like the, I like the devil. This is cool. I like this. Oh, shit. Ghostface is <laughs> just headed to his first day of school. Look, watch. That's new age Ghostface. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning and my clock. <laughs> <laughs> and Just I won't make it on time. Yeah. It was it's awful. It's alright because I'm, I'm saved by, by the screen. It's alright because I'm saved by 
the it's alright because I'm saved by the bell. I just was saying stay by the bell. I wanted to go all the way. That was terrible. I wanted to go all the way. You gotta take it. Look, this is good, dude. This is uh, this is actually to the limit. Cat Daddy. This is what happens to anybody when they go into Banana Republic and they stop by Hot Topics right after. <laughs> so like, you know what? I'm a hipster and I don't give a that's shit. That's what it's like when you go into a Spear Halloween, but you already own all the cool shit. That's like cat that's like that, that good looking guy that just transferred for a senior year in high school and no one really knows him, but he's getting all the girls. <laughs> that's awesome. Office of Horror. Thank you so much. I love it. It's that's so some cool. cool ass shit you got there, man. Oh, you, oh I didn't even uh, notice his fucking, did you see his uh, his flippers are fucking uh, jack-o'-lanterns? Oh, he's got, uh, he's got look at the, look crocs at the, Yeah, look at the detail. On that. It's Jack o' Lantern uh, flippers. Pumpkin flippers. Crocs. Crocs, yeah. Thanks, Horror. Officer Whore. So, thank you so much. Check them out in the linkage on the screen. I said flippers. I got a big box, Jay. Holy shit. Not just in real life. My vagina is huge, but there's uh, also a letter. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, wait, there's several. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, She's Ram, a, Jay, uh, Kyle says, okay, my, it's Kyle. Uh, I wrote each of you your own letter as well uh -huh. as a letter for both of you together. Feel free to read whatever you want out loud. Also, I work for a company that makes patches, including all the patches worn by MLB and Major a lot of the ones that's Nolan Ryan shit. And a lot of the ones you see in college sports, including all the bowl patches, I threw some in with your stuff too. If you guys ever want to make some wham patches, okay. I'm your guy. Fuck yeah, okay. that would be awesome. All right, let's go. I'll, I'll open up the wham. Well, this is wham first. Okay. And uh, dear Mike and Jay, Jay and Mike, you both deserve top billing. I started to write this letter many months ago, but as we've seen the world change in an instant, and so can our own world, I found you guys subscribed around, and subscribed around the 93K subscriber mark and was there for the 100K live stream. Oh, sweet, man. That was a good time. I instantly felt a connection and soon realized it was because I'm the same age as you guys and we grew up with the same stuff. I You're 22 also? <laughs> Holy my shit. Mind <laughs> at the announcement of Revenge of the Action Movie, more content soon, oh, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. You know, We're yeah, coming. We're yeah. coming back on that. Um, my wife wasn't sure what to think at first, but Dr. Lewis dropping <laughs> Millie Vanilli sold her quickly. She finally remembers seeing them in concert with Paul Abdul and Tone Dude, Luck have, uh, in the late did it 80s. Skip then? Holy shit. She began watching Wham with me. Together we decided we wanted to send you guys some gifts to show our support and appreciation for you. Right about the time I started to write this letter, she was starting to have severe health problems. Reading that previous sentence back to myself, it sounds ominous, so let me get it out of the way and say that she is still alive and kicking ass. Station, dude. That's Fuck awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, this is not a sad letter. Like I said, she was having health problems, and then, then the pandemic hit. We were both fortunate enough that we were able to keep working and support ourselves and our kids. Then on June 8th, my entire offense got called into a meeting where we were informed that one of our coworkers tested oh, positive. Oh, man, that would be fucking for terrible. For COVID, and that we would all have to get tested. Just went through something like that, man. It's fucking awful. Guess who the only other person to test positive was? Yep, me. Fuck, Aren't man. you a lucky fucker? Uh, <laughs> no then we would shit. all have to get tested. Guess who the only... Oh, I already read that part. The uh, only time I was scared was when I thought I might have given it to my wife, kids, or yeah. parents, but thankfully it was just me. Fuck yeah, man. Good luck there. I, I pretty much sat in one spot wearing a mask and gloves and not moving for 10 days. The worst I got of it was severe congestion, the loss of taste and smell for five days. I spent most of my time binging wham, and the only time I truly felt discomfort in my lungs or had trouble breathing was because I was laughing at you That's guys. awesome, man. I'm glad. I hate that the discomfort happened, but I'm glad that we gave you some laughter. Laughter may be the best medicine, but if I would have died, I was laughing at you crazy bastards. So my wife instructs, instructed me to include wham in my obituary and make sure you got a copy. Holy shit. That's not morbid at all. Did you, did you tell your wife? It's like, no, you know. Thanks, honey. True. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I want one of my obituaries. The co-worker, by the way, was my assistant who felt it was not necessary to tell anyone that he was showing symptoms and kept coming to work. It was, uh, it, it, he hasn't been back and I haven't since seen or heard from him, but I do have a Few choice, few choice, few choice words for me if I do. Yeah, like, I bet you fucking do. Fuck you. I hope you fucking have a goddamn herpes-sized rocket in your butthole. Dick face McGregorton. Uh, I'm fine now, but fast forward to the day I emailed you, Mike, to ask about sending you a copy of the Halloween Two novelization. I got the call that my wife had been rushed to the hospital and needed emergency surgery. Oh shit. It's weird to put on paper to say out loud, but I came very close to losing her. We're not 100% out of the woods by any means, but she is doing better. She's tough, but then again, uh, she has to be to put up with all my That's bullshit. That's awesome, man. The last several months have given me an appreciation of what I have and what served as a reminder to stop and smell the roses every once in a while, which sucks when you can't smell anything. I was gonna, I was gonna say something. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to write a novel, but we wanted to let you guys know how much you're appreciated, not just for the Wham content, but for the people you are and how you use Wham as a platform to help others. You guys treat everyone as equals and have created an open and cathartic space and I'm glad to be part of the Whamley. 
most of all, I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy that my wife is alive. And I'm also happy that not only you guys are alive, but that this in this bat shit crazy world, you exist. That's fucking um, awesome, man. Dude. Very beautiful. And it doesn't matter if you wrote a novel or not, or if it, it, it was great, the entire thing. And I hope your wife is doing well. You said she's doing well. Prayers to you and your family. And thank you so much for watching us. Yeah, man. That's amazing. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm, no words for that. Uh, there, there's just no words for that, man. Thank, thank you so much for including this and that. And, um, you know, I, as you guys have known, I, we, we thought, you know, we were exposed to COVID uh, just the past two weeks. And it's been hell. I can only imagine what you guys are going through, especially that, that your wife is having health issues now. And uh, just uh, if you guys ever need, you know, a hand, if you need somebody to talk to, reach out. And uh, we're I'm just so happy we could help you in any small, minuscule, stupid way. <clears throat> even if it took your mind off something for five minutes, dude, um, I'm honored. We're both honored. Well, we're so thankful for that, and we're thankful you guys are okay. And uh, awesome. That, yeah. That's amazing, man. That that's that's so sweet. Thank, Thank you, you so for your much. Kind words, <clears throat> man. You also sent us personal letters. Uh, I know you said we could read these out loud if we wanted to. I want to make sure that we have enough battery space to go through the whole thing. Um, and if we don't, then we'll definitely save these for ourselves and we'll read them. But if not, we'll definitely have these uh, coming up afterwards. But thank you for those. I, I can't wait to see what you have. And, to I'll, say. and I'll definitely read it on my personal MySpace page. A lot of traffic comes through there. This MySpace page is killing. It, it blows right? up, man. Like it's I got at least a thousand people crazy. a year. It's come on there nuts. and they're like, hey, MySpace. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's crazy, huh? This guy, my space. He's and, like Tom. And check out my LinkedIn. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Stephen. What did you do? This says for the Rotam background. That's Revenge of the Action Movie. Oh, we shouldn't open this. That's action movies. No, we we no, wait on this. Well, we we don't have Revenge of the Action. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. What are you talking? It's about? coming back. Just open it, you slut. All right, bitch. God, he's so demanding when he's on his period. I can't believe it. I like to get what I want, Jim. <laughs> when he's on his period. Yeah. <laughs> I binge you over and take what I, what daddy needs to That's get. That's called rape, third. Well, you know, I gotta do what I gotta oh, do. Oh, shit. With you. Oh, my fuck, dude. No way, dude. Oh, my fuck. No way, dude. dude. Oh, my. That's fucking. That's the greatness himself! The ponytail strikes Holy back! Holy fucking bullsack! <laughs> <Dude>, it's fucking... <laughs> no, man. Dude, it's Steven motherfucking Segal. Hello, Lentos. I say we're close to renovations. First off, two weeks. I want to know... How much did he whip your ass to get this? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, there's dude. a certificate of authenticity on the back, so we know it's legit, oh, right? Oh god! And look, this is probably what he looked like when you asked him for an autograph. Dude! Look at this. He held that in his hands and he wrote on it. Yeah, he did. Well, he held it in his hand when you asked him. Oh my god! That's fucking crazy, man! Oh my dude! Little, like, 12-year-old me and 34-year-old me is losing my goddamn mind right now! That's a Steven Seagal autograph! I'm gonna take you to the bank. The blood, blood bank. bank. <laughs> God, stop the that time. is literally kicking our asses right now. Like later on, we're gonna go home and get what? fucking nut punch from it. Oh, I want to smell, smell the smell the grease. He touched this. Smell dude. the grease on the. He touched yeah, this. Smell the grease on the ponytail. Oh God, Nico. Smell it? A keto. Nico. A keto. Oh my God, dude. That's, oh my God. It's a Steven Seagal fucking autograph, guys. Steven Seagal, touch this. It's a Steven Seagal autograph, and I don't give a shit that he shit his pants when that one guy choked him out. It's still that Steven never Seagal. happened, Jim. Holy fuck, man. Man, that is oh great. God, that is good. We, we were going to put that in the background either way. <laughs> fuck the revenge of the action. I don't even care. Yeah. That's, going in our, that's going on our tombstone. That is fucking Jesus amazing. Jesus, Lord, dude, look at this. He wrote that. Look at this. Just zoom in on the actual autograph right there. Hey, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like what happens when, you're, when you've are when you spent a shit ton of money in Christmas and your wife asks to use the credit card again. <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> or like you stalking your wife after oh you get the God. credit card bill. Dude, that's the coolest fucking thing ever. That is the coolest I have, fucking I, thing I, ever. You know what? Uh, I've, never, I've never even thought in a million years that we would ever touch or own a goddamn <laughs> no, Steven man. goddamn ponytail on fire bulletproof cigar autograph. And we have it in our hands. Cause I would, you know what? Honestly, if I saw him at a convention, I'd be so fucking terrified. I wouldn't even ask. I wouldn't even. No, nope. I could. I could I'd even see it at Walmart. I wouldn't ask. I'd do like one of these. Huh? This was the only way we were ever gonna have this, bro. This, this is the only oh, way. Oh man, that is so fucking cool. And look, it, Kyle. Like, that's fuck. how he does it. It's, it goes. Stubborn. You know he was doing a keto when he signed it. <laughs> he was probably kicking six dudes' ass in a pool <clears throat> wall. With God, that's hand. so fucking badass, dude. Kyle, man, thank you so much. Seriously, that's amazing. You and your wife, both. Thank you all so much. That that's no, this can't get better. I mean, it that's can't. so cool. Oh, oh this one's know, for oh, me, Stephen. It's, it's your package. Okay, let me see what's inside of it. Rip it apart. Mm -hmm. In the honor of Stephen. Oh. oh, I see it. I see the G. I saw a big old G. Dude, do not. Oh. Your fucking elbow is dangerous. Oh, God. 
Dude, dude, that is fucking It's not sick. just this. This is heavy, dude. There's is there some, shit in it? In this, dude. Look at this. No hooks. Look, it's a Green Bay Packers pack. Trapper Keepers better be in here. We need school supplies. It's a Green Bay... Dude, and it's leathery on the bottom. Dude, you it's know like what? a nice chance. There is things in there. There is things in there. Look at that sweet fucking G right there, dude, you guys. You know what's really cool about that is that when we go to conventions, we you, we need this extra space. Oh, my God. Yes, dude. We always wear a backpack to conventions. The zipper's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Is, is it Jansport? No, it's a, it's a, 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 it's a Northwest. Oh. Even better. Yeah, they're a, they're a nice company. There's stuff inside of here, dude. There's stuff in this box. Eat it. Okay. What we got here? Oh my god, dude! Look how many patches there are. Dude, you could fucking load dude, up on patches. There's a Super Bowl patch in there too. Look at this shit. Not only there's this. Dude, From 1961, the last time they won. Kyle, shut up. <laughs> oh yeah, it was 1998. 2010, you whore. Oh yeah. 96 and 2010. Look at this, dude. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. Look at that fucking So they're iron on patches. Sweet Super Bowl patch on there, dude. And there's a whole fucking bag dude, of need, them. You need to get one of those fucking bomber jackets and then they start putting all these patches dude, on it. No, I'll get like a punk rock. Oh dude, look at that. I'll get I'll get I'll get a jean jacket, man. I'll make a punk rock Green Bay jean jacket. Dude, that is so that cool, is man. Sweet as fuck. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um Got DVDs there. You got Porky's. Oh, sweet. That's Porky's great one, one and it. two. Uh, Porky's one, I, I love. I haven't seen <clears throat> Porky's two. I'll wear my backpack into the girls' showers and watch this. And then we got Fast Times at Ridgemont. Dude, they High. just did a live reading with Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt, they uh, did. Ray Liotta, and fucking uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf. Hot topic. I've never seen this movie. That's a great. Never movie. watched you it. You need before. to watch it. I'm gonna watch it on this copy. That I promise you. That's gonna be the first time I experience it. Spicoli, that. you bitch. The only thing I love about Shia LaBeouf is he was so serious when he did it. He was like, I can fix up a piece of this Dude, car. he was smoking weed. <laughs> he like was legit, legit fucked like, up, man. out of it. Oh, oh you have oh, 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 oh. You come from a land of ice and snow. I saw the sign. I saw the sign. That's badass. Dude, look at this tiny little Brett Favre. It's McFarlane, too. It's McFarlane. Yeah. That's uh, some good shit. Dude, that is so dope as shit, man. Holy hell. Holy hell, man, this is too much. He loaded you up. It's too much. And then there's this, whatever this, man, this is, it's honestly, it's this already is way too time. much, dude. It's already way too much. Where's the... Shaka! Shaka Khan! I feel like my mouth has just been like a gap the entire time because it's just so cool. I feel like that little boy in a Christmas story that gets bundled up and he can't move and he's like, oh, I can't. This is the coolest <laughs> fucking thing ever, man. Oh, dude, it's I fucking... see more Packer stuff inside. I don't want to cut it. It is a book. There you go. We I don't want to damage the contents. Dude. Holy oh, shit. man. Holy fuck, dude. Dude. I fucking own this. Like, way back in the day, I owned this book, right? And it came with a CD-ROM. And it was like my prize claim. And I lost Look, it. dude. I lost it. Look. We're going in the front cover. And with the DVD. Yeah, in their own it. words, DVD. This comes with the coolest Favre documentary you've ever seen. And I lost the fucking thing, man. I, I, I fucking, like, worship this. And the DVD that came with it, and I lost that shit. Uh, dude, that's so cool. What does that say on the top? It's awesome. It says, uh, here. Is there, it did, oh, they had marks on it for you. What the fuck is that? That's the, that's the DVD right there that it comes with. The coolest far documentary I've ever seen. No, I thought they, they, they legit oh, got Dude, there's no fucking way. What? Dude, there's no fucking Woo -wee. way. Woo-wee! Holy fuck, dude. You've never had that. No, <laughs> dude, no fucking way, man. Woo! Fucking shit, dude. That's a special. All right, there's a picture of Brett Favre signing something. And it's literally a picture of Brett Favre. And, and it's like a Kodak like picture. Yeah. And then and then is that his mom? Oh dude. It's Whoa! -wee. Holy fuck, dude. Oh, Holy shit. No. Nope, nope, nope. That's Time not what that is. In the video and retire. Dude, it's Brett and Benita <laughs> Favre autographing. That his wife? Yeah, no, that's his mom. <laughs> I was like, she's old. <laughs> Oh my god, that's dude. their fucking, that's his autograph, That's, his, that's Brett Favre's autograph. And his mom. Thing, and there's pictures to prove it. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, Holy shit, book, dude. Look at that. Dude, there's no way. Man. Holy fuck, dude. You're going to get Wranglers for life. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's I, so fucking bad. Literally, badass. literally have tears from my eyes. I'm really embarrassed. Look at Bonita. Like, her, her, her <laughs> signature actually, is way fucking better, I'm dude. I'm actually embarrassed right now because I'm so emotional about that. That is Holy cool shit, shit, man. 
Holy shit, dude. Mm. That's Brett Favre's autograph. I know, but if you look at Brett's, it's just, it looks like it says Red. And his mom, who helped, he, she helped write She's the book, She's got a too. great, I like her signature. It says number four, oh my god. That man. is fucking insane. Nope, I'm done. I got nothing That left. is. Fucking, I got nothing left, dude. Holy shit, dude. Wow, you never, you man. You never had a Brett Favre autograph piece, have you? No, I've never holy had a Brett Favre shit, autograph dude. piece, dude. That is. Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. We'll share it. It'll be like mine, but it can stay at our house. That's cool as fuck. Or I got dude. it backwards, and it's got this certificate. I just, I can't believe there's a picture of. There's Benita signing it, Brett Favre's mom. Yeah. And then a picture of my hero, my life's hero, Brett Favre, signing that shit. That is fucking insane, dude. Dude, literally. Embarrassed right now. That's all year. That's all year. Embarrassed right now because, um, wow, holy shit. Dude, I don't know what to say to Are that. you going to read that? I've already read it. Oh, you already read it? And I've already watched the, no, you the need, DVD like 12 times. You, can put that, <laughs> you know what you can do? You can put that bitch. Well, oh. You can maybe open it. Like if you open it where the, the yeah. autograph is and then frame it. I don't know in what to do with it. I'm, I'm going to put it inside the Bible and like just pray to it every morning. Kyle, you and your wife, man, your family, I don't know what to say. You didn't have, you never had to do that. Uh, wow. That thank was, you so much. That's insane. Uh, Jay, you got to open yours. Well, I will, but I got I got to go. I think we got to I got to go pee. You want to take a pee pee? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take That was a pretty good that it mine's not as heavy as yours. <laughs> now some fun for you, Steven. Okay. Are you ready to get fucking buck wild and naked in the night and play Molly Hatchet? Cause I am. Let's open this big bitch. Put it in! Get it up! Get it up! I shouldn't be doing the knife. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 the tearing. The ripping and the tear. Ah. Yeah. Oh dude. Yeah. I like what I see already. It's a Giants backpack. No, dude, it's UK. It's a UK backpack. I just saw blue. It's the Wildcat <laughs> coming at you. Hey, guess what? If you're a Duke fan, you're puke. <laughs> Duke equals puke. <laughs> Disgusting Christian Leitner with that fadeaway bullshit. <laughs> we relive it every year. We're tired of it. We're tired of this shit. No, thank you so much. That's badass. I love it. You know, it's our favorite college basketball team. We live yep. in Kentucky, so obviously. Uh, but yeah, dude, I love it. It's, I guess it's the same company. It's the same company that made Mike's Green Bay one. Northwest. And I like it because I like West. I like blue. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. You got some stuff in that bag too? Oh, oh we have some patches with some UK. Oh, oh, what dude, are these got the gnarly patches? Well, we got some we got some crazy shit in here though. What is that? That's a bulls patch in that motherfucker. That's not a bulls patch. That's a sexy bulls patch right there. That's a nineties bulls patch is right it? there. Yeah, man. <laughs> I do it. You know what? From the from it looked like this. I thought it was some kind of Buddhist shit. Cause it was like I thought it was like one of those like deities. I thought, Satan? No, dude. Look, look at it. Look. It looks like one of those crabs. Look. It looks like a it looks like a, a Buddhist crab or something. Like wash up this crab. That's well, fucking. Awesome. Hey man. Down, it's the booze. Old school. I used to like the bulls a lot back in the day with Scottie Pippen, uh, Dennis Rodman. Uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. I had that basketball uh, when they did the, what was it called? The best team ever. Oh yeah, seventy two. Yeah, Rodman and the Jordan. Uh, yeah, I had the Jordan one. Cody had the Rodman one, but it was like seventy two and nineteen or something. It was insane fucking record. Yeah. And uh, got some more bull patches. Uh, again, uh, I like how he's equating UK with. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Phil Jackson era of the Bulls with the greatest. Because it's true. Well done. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, put the R. Kelly song on here without peeing on girls. The greatest. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and, uh, and then we got, also we got some uh, other little mini Chicago Bulls. We got some, uh, the decade of dominance. Oh, that is dope. the truth right here. Okay, so 1991, 92, 93, 96, 97, and 1998. And the only reason it wasn't continuous is because Jordan went to play baseball for a year. Yeah. Uh, wow, dude. Yeah, that's when Chicago was whooping that fucking ass yeah, and man. taking out teams like they owed them money. LeBron suck a dick. He's so great. Uh, and then we got you know several UK patches and stuff like that. I don't want to show you guys all of it, but there, there's two uh, Chicago Bull championships. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna get decked out and not go to a game because I don't like to you know play with that COVID shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna definitely get decked out with my fucking jacket and set it in my home. We're buying jean the... jackets, dude. That's the end of the story. We're buying jean jackets. Yeah, and then every time we meet each other, we're gonna have the Drive soundtrack come on from the Ryan Gosling movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much. This is really nice of you. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, oh, and we got a big jazz. Oh, that's a sick. That's I've never seen that version before, dude. And thank God they rewound the motherfucker. <laughs> uh, 
It's full frame, which I'm not a big fan of, but at the same time, can't complain. Army of Darkness on VHS. I've never, seen that, I've never seen that VHS tape, by the way. I've never seen that version of Army of Darkness on VHS. Uh, this is basically what happens when you realize when you live in an apartment that the landlord is not going to clear out that poop. <laughs> you got to do it yourself, and you're you're you know elbow deep in your own shit because you're trying to. <laughs> Get that plug up <laughs> fixed. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, yeah, we're you know we are VHS enthusiasts. We gotta we gotta figure out a way to we gotta get a VHS player back wall, here. Dude. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta. And by that. the way, this wall is just the Halloween Horror Month wall is over there. So we had to find a new home for a few for a few videos. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Uh, we got the nice fancy. Mm. Is that a Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude. That this is fucking awesome. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and admit that I'm not a huge, oh, I'm not a huge uh, Funko Pop collector, but this that is special. Is a special. This is special in my panties. This is a Chatterer <laughs> Funko Pop 793. Amazing. Uh, it, it says fucking Walmart. What kind of things are you teaching them, cocksuckers? And not just that, dude, but it clearly shows how much they know about you because that's your favorite fucking. Cinema. Yeah, dude, it's a Hellraiser three Chatterer, which. It says on. It no, says no, no, I, I know, but I was like, did he appear in that? It's like, did somebody make a mistake? <laughs> is this worth more money? Uh, no, uh, this is amazing, man. Uh, really cool. Chatterer is definitely one of my faves. Uh, not my favorite, but definitely up there. I, I like Pinhead personally, but amazing, dude. I didn't even know they made fucking Cinnabite Funko Pops. I didn't know they made a fucking Chatterer one. I know they sure. made uh, Pinhead, but I didn't know they made. Oh. He reminds me of those. those <laughs> it's insane. You, you remember in the '90s when those like raisin things came out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of those raisinettes. Those raisinettes. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely scared of that in a way, but I definitely will put it up. Uh, and then we got the final piece, the final, the final dragon. Uh, it's from uh, U UPS Express. <laughs> So, sponsor? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I have good feeling. Oh, that looks that looks, I have that looks special. Let me let me just think. Hold on. It's gonna be it's gonna be an autographed picture of Bill Nye, the Science Guy. <laughs> and, what it is, dude? Dude! Oh, that's everybody! Everybody! I don't. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. I, um, I don't have. Uh, but okay, so we've got uh, from the oh, from the Hellraiser one s movie. Oh, we've got uh, I'm, I'm assuming every actor that played uh, Paul, uh, Doug Bradley. And again, I, I apologize. I don't know uh, female uh, Chatterer and Butterball. We have their autograph here. God damn, man, that's fucking cool. Uh, do you want I to mess with my chance? Oh my god! It's the fucking cream dream team. You know what that looks like? That 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 literally looks like the uh, the starting lineup of Ghost, the rock band. <laughs> uh, I, man, I, I thank you so. You know, uh, I, I I was just actually telling Mike uh, in the garage while we were smoking a pipe that uh, that was made out of tobacco. That um, <laughs> that I've I, I never really had a lot of autographs before. Uh, my girlfriend just got me some Ghostbuster autographs, but that I've never in my life. Ever Ever Whoa. thought I would get a Hellraiser anything autograph? That's the whole team, dude. That's uh, I know team. that. I know that before we got. Uh, I think before uh, we've got we've got a couple of you know here and there uh, Hellraiser stuff, but dude, never on a in an actual just all of them. Yeah, dude. And then I love that the skull was dr uh, drawn by. Uh, I'm assuming the guy that played Chatterer. I can't Nicholas uh, someone. And okay, so it is okay. So uh, I, I can't read their fucking. What the fuck? They must have been smoking goddamn uh, <laughs> Cinnabite crack. It's a typical autograph. When they yeah. were like, but Doug Bradley looks nice. So you can see it's Bradley right at the end, right yeah. there. And then the girl that plays female, she actually puts female. Yeah. And, and then, then but I, I, I love Chatter. I, 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 I love Chatter. You know, drew that <laughs> on the bottom, just so yeah. you know. Like it's like, yeah, I can see your picture. You don't have to draw me like a fucking like little stick figure. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just in case you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That that is really special and really wow. unique. Uh, you have really gone and outdone yourself. And uh, Mike and I were actually talking about that too. Not only did you send us a Steven Seagal autograph, which is fucking insane. God damn it! Uh, I forgot about that for a second. I know you sent us this with the Hellraiser stuff. You sent Mike a Brett Favre, which he's still ejaculating from deep into my pants. Uh, and, and like everything that you've gone through and everything that you're you're going through with your family and, and your personal life, and you still managed to do this amazing thing for us, dude. There's not a there's there's no word or uh, you know expressions of gratitude to say fuck you very much and one day when we meet you we will buy you or Mike will buy you a pint of beer several and then I'll get you at least a $5 gift card to Olive Garden 
which you can use on their <laughs> delicious appetizers. Uh, but no, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. You Dude. really are. You uh, you know, I honestly, again, we have to say this every fucking time, but especially to you, you sexy son of a wow, bitch. Wow, dude. You, you don't have to do this. You didn't have to do any of this. The patches alone were great. The Steven Seagal fucking thing just made a whole goddamn packs. year. Uh, but you did it anyway because of the kindness of your heart, and we cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much, and thank you for everybody that sends yeah. us anything. So. Yeah, we're not worthy. We're not worthy! Never. We're not Never. worthy! You're worthy, you're worthy, get up! But okay. we're really not, man. Kiss your dick. Um, I, there's no place to go from here. We gotta end the unboxing mm -hmm. video. After that, after that box from, from Kyle and his wife and your all's family. Too much, um, man. Jesus Christ, man. Just too much. Um, and, and again, you know, uh, me and my, we don't want to try to sound like ungrateful or we're not putting on a show or any kind of bullshit like that nope. like you see some other YouTubers do. Like, we genuinely don't feel worthy of this because, you know, we're just trying to make some good videos and make you guys laugh. We make yeah. fart and dick jokes because we think it's funny. You guys are out yeah. there that think it's funny and that's why we all come together and we have sex in an orgy. But that's not true <laughs> at all. But the truth is, is because we're saying that because, you know, look, there's a lot of shit going on in the world right now and you can use it to spend money on yourself or or, you know, whatever. I mean, and again, Mike and I are very grateful and very happy for every single thing that you send us. Thank you all. We don't deserve this shit. We're ha we're so happy to be here. And, uh, I love and I, I, like, also, little tiny thing. No, I, that was the end of it. We're done. No, now. we're not. No. Uh, you shut day. the fuck up. Subscribe to Subway no. Sandwiches. <laughs> You want to subscribe to the Subway Sandwich? <laughs> well, on that note, let me tell you what I feel like. Thank you so much for sending us wondrous gifts. Very nice, but not one time did me spout a gift card for Subway Sandwich. So here's what me tell you at the end of the... If you want to see a good package that will make you always the hero to your family and friends, send Subway Sandwich gift card. Because guess what? When you go through drive-thru or you walk in store, you say, gift card! And they say, oh, well, you must be special. Because you is special. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> what were you going to say, though? I don't know. I forgot. We love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn well up in here. You're going to die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Deflation. <laughs> <laughs>Hey kids, you guys want to buy drugs? Bonus. That's what I'm dressed like. There's more. This is this is for the show, not Johnny Walker. I feel like I'm Derek Michaels' pimp. Who's Derek Michaels? He's a subscriber. Oh, he's that guy that likes to get jerk off. In the yeah, I, was like, I feel like, hey Derek, go out there until my trap's filled. I'll come back around the block and pick you up later, you dirty bitch. He's a Detroit Lions fan. It's no big deal. Oh yeah, I, I do. I feel like I feel like Derek Michael. I, he would be like. Hey, Jay, man, I couldn't really make that much. I was sucking dick all day, and I, mm. I only made 25 cents. Like, well, Derek, you're really going to have to put all your, your oil in there. Fucking fuck. It says beaver nuggets. I'm not eating that. It says couldn't resist sending you a treat called beaver nuggets. I, I, I like beaver nuggets, but not... Actually, that sounds gross anyway. Like, you slice it. Oh, yeah. some man sends you beaver nuggets, you're going to eat them bigger. Yeah, I'd rather go get my own beaver nuggets. Come on. Okay, grab a hand. Hold on. Oh, dude, it actually does. It, you know what? You know, it's not like waffle crisp. Caramel. Yeah. Never waffle crisp. Yeah. Leave it out. Oh, mm. that's good. Oh, caramel, 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 caramel corn. Corn pops. Caramel corn. Caramel corn pops. No. Oh. Oh. That's oh. fucking good. They're glistening. Fuck y'all know about them beaver nuggets. Hmm? You know what? What the fuck do you know about beaver That's nuggets? from Gritty, that's Gritty, Gritty, Gritty shit. I'm gonna pour that shit I in can't milk. wait to him to send us a message. I'm like, you guys loved them. Great. They're actually fucking dehydrated squirrel nuts. <laughs> it's okay. They're pretty good. You want some more? Uh, more I can see it's really sugary. Oh. It's like, hey, uh, what do you have after eating that whole bag? Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> that's some good shit, though. You got more of them. Is that hot? Oh, it's More, spicy. Same brand. Bucky's Hill Country brand hot and spicy beef jerky. Well, let's have some of it. Bucky's. Mm. That's sweet and salty. Oh, I like it. You can put it together and have a whole show. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's your big fat piece. I like that. Cheers.
hard on the jaw. Yeah. Ooh, spicy. I haven't hit it yet. Oh, there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's. I'll tell you what. I don't think Jeff Gordon's going to do it this year. <laughs> I'll tell you why. You know why? Because he's wearing his goddamn panties on. <laughs> he ain't shit. You know how I think he's going to do it? It's tasty. You know how I think I was going to do it? Mm -hmm. Kyle Nougat. <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit, though. Here, bud. Here, Thor. Oh. There's more to come. I feel I feel like such a pig. <laughs> uh. It's just the right amount of spice. It's got to get in there, though. Mm -hmm. Once you swallow it, it gets all different flavors. No crunchy. No crunchy. Okay. Oh. That's getting there. It's kind of. That's a perfect amount of spice. It's getting in my in my heart. What's in that one? Dude, oh fuck! God damn! Holy shit, dude! That's a Halloween tooth. That's rare as fuck, dude. That's rare as fuck. <laughs> God damn, man! So he sent us a novelization of Halloween by Jack Martin. And you you notice that it's in the protective case. Yeah, dude, it's got the old seventy five cent sticker so on that shit. So what does one do when it's in a protective case? Open it and read it. No, don't do that. Oh. That's amazing, man. Dude, that's the Halloween 2 novel. That's rare as fuck, right, guys? That's so rare. So, in 19... When did this come out? I mean, I don't know. It's probably like 80 or 79. 80, 81. If you saw... Do you imagine if you... Imagine you were in high school and you just saw this sitting there like that. You're yeah. Like, uh, yeah, bitch. Can I please have that and another copy? Man, that's... Look how cool that opening is, too. That's cool. Ah, give me some corn nuggets! We gotta hurry up, dude, because my heart's starting to burn. Oh, man. That's fucking cool, dude. Heartburn. That is special. That is special. And if you want... If you want, we'll we'll, we'll have to say Halloween two on do, the back because uh, it's Halloween two. I thought I said Halloween. No, it's Halloween two. Oh fuck! We'll have to slowly read this to each other, like Rocky and Adrian in the bedroom when Adrian's reading to Rocky and teaching him how to read. But we'll read this and Is we'll it do cursive. We'll do a Halloween novelization review of it, man. Um, I thought we already did that. In your honor, not of this one. Not of this puppy. Hmm. We did it in the first one, but not of this puppy. Yeah, we'll do that. Man, that's fucking My awful. shit is on fire. It's starting to fucking <laughs> you hurt. <laughs> you, you guys think he's joking, but he looked at me with dead No, because it's fucking true. My goddamn heart is melting. <laughs> I want to go. I'm sorry, man. We really appreciate it, but my shit is on fire. So you can just open the fucking FedEx up. Okay, what we got? We got some fucking movies here. Oh my god, we got some Dead Alive. Holy shit, I love that fucking movie. You know that guy that fucking directed Lord of the Rings? It's the guy, Dead Alive. Woo, it's some fucking scary shit. What else we got here? We got some fucking popcorn. Oh, a fucking scary cover. Look at that shit, popcorn. It's great, man. I really appreciate you. Love you. Uh, god bless. And, and, you know, come on, man. Fucking yeah. There's one more thing. Oh, here, fucking bro. shit. Of course you do. It's... <laughs> It fucking hurts, dude. You gotta stop. Just drink your drink. Man. It's a fucking beer. It's not working. It's exasperating. It's not that hot. It's. It, do I already have heartburn? All right, take it down. Take it down. <laughs> That's great. That just threw gasoline on uh, the motherfucker. Uh, hold on, dude. Hold on, these are Kobe Bryant Memorial. Oh wow, fucking thank no, God. No, that, that's actually fucking amazing. These are Kobe Bryant Memorial patches. Like, you, you want to go get some water? water no, just, just go. You sure? Just read it. Uh, like many of the patches uh -huh. we make, they were made for the customer and not available for sale to the public. Oh wow! But I grabbed myself a couple extra for myself. I thought you guys liked them. This is not a made made for the public. Dude. That's really great. For real though, like, I'm not trying to be an asshole, man. I'm really not. I know okay. you're paying. Go wash shit. your face off. I can't. I want to stick through it, dude. Kobe Bryant is my fucking se second favorite basketball yeah, player yeah. and maybe third favorite athlete of all time. So no, these weren't even made available to the public. Look at that, dude. I actually might get a jacket and put that's, some shit that's on. That's pretty it. nice. That is so. Yeah, fucking amazing, man. You got the eight Kobe's, and then you got the KB right there. Oh, Rest yeah. in peace, KB's. Black Mamba. Rest in peace. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! I love you, Black Mamba. I'm not, I'm not being an asshole. I that's, know you're not. That's really, I know that's you're really not. sweet. All right, we're we're gonna that's go. That's really sweet of you. We're gonna go. I love you, Kyle. I want to suck your dick. It's a, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's so fucking bad. Uh, thanks, man. Rock and roll to the station. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm gonna put it on jacket. I'm gonna hold this. All right. <laughs> I love you.
Mm, God, I got some fucking milks. <laughs> what are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again. Sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you wanna know about the darkness? I said, God damn. God damn you, my God. I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. What are you gonna do on October 31st?